Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, introduction to arrays number 12, array.length. As we saw in the last exercise, there are many strange behaviors that can result from referencing array indexes that are less than zero or than the highest index in your array. So less than zero or a really big number not in your array. If you want to avoid these kind of errors, it is useful to know how long your array is, especially since we've seen that arrays can grow and shrink during the course of your program. And we can do that using list.length. You can always check the current length of your array using the command list length, where list is the name of your array and it evaluates a number indicating how many items are in your array. We have a do this. The starter code has been provided, which creates several long arrays. Use list.length and console.log to determine how many items are in each array. An example of the output is below. The length of short is, the length of words is, and the length of bits is. Hmm. Well, that looks like it corresponds down here with my code. Short is short arrays for practice. The array words is this is a very long list of words, but how many is it exactly? Question mark. And we have another array bits, which is a bunch of ones and zeros. What it looks like we have to do is develop some console.log statements that output this in our debug console. Well, the first one, Let's put our console.log statement in here. Should be the length of short is. So the length of short is. And we want this to be a string. So we're going to put our plus in there. Make sure it is inside our parentheses. And looking up here, we know the dot length command here deals with our list. What list do I want to get? Well, that's going to be short. So I'm going to put short dot length. Close our parenthesis there and don't forget your semicolon. This should say the length of short, which is this array right here, is, and all I am doing is adding up the length of this array. Now, what is it adding up? Is it adding up all the letters? No. It's adding items. That would be anything in between the quotation marks. That means that's one, two, three, four. In my example here, the length of short is four. This seems to point that I am on some sort of the correct path in my reasoning. Let's follow this logic out, do two more. So we have a console.log, the length of words is, and we're going to do plus words because that's the array dot length. And our last one here, the length of bits, oops, bits is plus we want bits dot length. In my code now, in my debug console, I should get the display the length of short is, and then it is actually going to count up my array and display the length. First one should be four. We just visually verified that. Second one is 15. That certainly does look like 15 words and 35 for our last one. Let's see if we get the same output. 415.35. Looks like we are correct in our reasoning, kids. Looking back up here, we use list.length and console.log to determine how many items are in each array. We visually checked it in our shortest ones. And it looks like both code.org and us have the same display. I think that's all they wanted from us. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.